guys, how you doing? This is your boy Lock Gaming. Today we're gonna come with a tutorial on how to use your Stream Deck. Uh, you can use the Stream Deck for many things. Uh, you can control everything on your computer, even things in your household. So basically, I've been having questions on my uh, stream on uh, how to set it up, regardless if you're using uh, Prism, Streamlabs, or OBS, or any other um, platform to stream to whatever uh, platform you stream it to, like Facebook, Twitch, Kick. Basically, all of this will be the same. So first, I'm quite sure that you guys already have a Stream Deck. So here we go. You guys have Stream Deck. This right here will be where you can click and find your platform. Majority of the people have a platform on either Twitch or YouTube, but you can go here, click there, and you can set up different uh, profiles. You may have one that you do for uh, maybe just a bunch of scenes that you do just for Call of Duty or a bunch of scenes you do just for a boxing game or et cetera, something of that nature. And you'd go here and then you'd find your profile there and you can set up different ones. As you can see, I have one from Prism Studio. You can't transfer, like say you have a, like me, I'm on Streamlabs. I have one for Streamlabs and I have a one for Prism. The one for Prism won't work for Streamlabs. The one for Streamlabs won't work for Prism. All right. All right, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, first of all, once you've downloaded the Stream Deck, make sure you, that you have the uh, latest update. And you go here, it's out the way. And you can click right here for the updates. Let me make sure I highlight that for you. You click right here, it says to click it, check for updates. Also, here you can go here for your profiles. As you can see, you also can go to different accounts. And also, different styles depending on what you want your buy to look like and also your different and also here you'll see what the latest version is okay. all right so let's get started all right so as you can see i already have my uh stream deck already set up with uh different profiles i can turn my camera on and i have uh, different things that i i like to uh, display to my uh, audience but let's go to an empty one so we can find so i can show you guys on how to set it up all right first here these are uh the things that i have to control my key lights it's also made by elgato now what we're going to do is first thing we're going to look over here to your right right here to your right you will find different columns or different things that you have that you can use as you can see i have streamlabs desktop uh you can control anything on your system that means your system it means your computer um i have a uh, key air light so right there is all the controls of that now quick thing a lot of people will say hey i don't have i don't have the um things for say uh a particular prism you move from Streamlabs, which is here and you went to uh prism and you don't find it well the great thing about this is that you can download this from within the ai all right so we're gonna go here up here to your right at the top you're gonna see a pink arrow you're going to see a green x and you're gonna see like i guess that's a yellow balloon you're gonna click that right there so once you click that uh, it's gonna take you to a website you have to have a profile and you're gonna have to log in so most likely nine times of ten everyone has a profile so anything that you need so say you need a let's move this out the way over here to the right so say that you need uh, Prism. Prism Studios and you're streaming on Prism Studios. Put that in the uh, search and you click on whatever you're looking for. It'll say open your stream deck. I already have it. So because it says this product is already owned, you click here, download it, and it will be in your UI on your stream deck over here. It will appear right here to the right. Right. So the fun, the great thing about this is you don't have to go. It's just like a one stop shop, kind of like your Walmart audio. You can look for different sounds. Look at that. They have chill out sounds, hip hop, pop, classical, uh, cinematic, electronic, uh, rock, country. Also, they have sound effects. You can get sound effects here. Um, they've updated this. You can get some easy, some, uh, some are free. They have noise removal. They have everything, basically what you need. Like say I want someone to scream, scream effect. I type that in there. 
screen sound effects file right here the sound effects tab and you can hear someone screaming you can also preview it before you actually download it so let's take a listen that's cool right so once you download it, you click this arrow here, it says download. Right there it says download. You download that and uh, it'll go to a folder. And they have everything that you need, like resources, uh, different things of that nature. Green pets, alerts, some are free, some you can pay for. They have overlays, they have emotes that you can purchase, uh, different resources that you can use events that you can do different profiles that you can load on for your stream deck to look look nice they have different icons that you can use like the sci-fi horror viking and different things this is really great they have different plugins as you can see se live the stream elements of uh, stream labs and these are all the things that you can download uh your your lighting a stream bot stream the games different things that you can do for your streams will be more exciting and different than other ones. Okay. All right. So this is just the basic things that they have. They also have videos that you can use for your backgrounds. Here it is basically icons you can use for your stream deck. Definitely great for your visual. So you can be more comfortable. So the more comfortable you are when you use it, the better. All right. So now let's get to the meat and potatoes. So for you can use your stream deck here over here to your left let's point it out for you guys i know i have an arrow here there we go yes bow all right here so before you can put anything here anything here in these little squares right here and these are your your, your meat and potatoes before you can put anything in there you're going to need to have something here your scenes as you know if you already been streaming your scenes are here right here is my live right here so within my live scene will be sources all right and your sources are these things here wow yeah all of these play an important part so therefore before you can put anything over here you need to have something here in the sources and we're gonna walk you step by step on how to do that so first things first you have your sources as you know they're already there what you want to do is go here i'm on streamlabs and it's the same way on obs as well as prism so you're going to find your streamlabs desktop bow now you've already got your scenes done i'll put your source here go and drag the one that says source and drop it bow right into there so once that drops in there, it's going to show you on your stream deck, your actual physical stream deck, as you're looking on your screen here, it's going to show you that you put a source there. You can add the source. Now, here, as we look down here for the add the source, you can name it anything you want here as the title. So I already have something in there. Let's click on the one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to your sources, add the source, add a media file, Source. I'm gonna name it something different. Let's name it uh two. Let's name it lot two. So as you see, name that lot two. You hit browse and let's go to um this video game on lock that I got. And right, so it's in there. Now what we're gonna do uh double click it, take it off that loop. All right, so now it's a stop, and we're gonna go here. We're gonna put and it should show up right here and inside okay once you do that now we're going to go down here and we're going to pick there it is there lock it should show up on your screen this once you press that show up in your game every time you press that button it's going to pop open and show all right well also if you want to change the icon here you can press that right arrow it's going down let me make sure i highlight that for you guys it's the arrow here and you can change it to anything that you want suppose you have one on your desktop picture so i'm going to go here set this icon and i can pick any picture that i want it to be so i'm going to just pick lock smoke bow 
and look there it is right there it shows up right there so you it also moves <laughs> so you got everything that you need in here there you go so we'll say you don't have one and you want to use one from the stream deck library you also have here or you can create your own there we go so we have everything that we possibly need and it's just a great tool that you can use you can use it for a home things at home uh you can control your cameras as you can see you can turn it on and change the temperature change the, the life of it um let me see you also can control things on your youtube you can have your chat you can play an ad uh you can open your dashboard you can see your viewers uh, let's go down even further that'll play if you have uh nvidia and you use that you can toggle in and out on your camera you can do a lot of things with this they also have a multi-action button where you can set it up that button does multiple things as uh, it says uh you can control your volume audio detection manual detection and one thing is a soundboard they have a soundboard on here you can play this is where you can put your music boom slide that here all right you can name it anything you want you can go here and there's all the things that you downloaded as a musical file you click it we'll just put that one there boom and it will pop up there you can have it fade in or fade out and you can pick the seconds once you fix fade in and then it'll show you how many seconds you can do it as well fade out that's what i usually use you can have it fade in and out and then your input and you can do your volume as well and like i said once again here you can set an icon uh let's see let's put another one uh, boom rock with lock boom and there's another you know another icon it looked like the same one let's try a different one same one wow uh king lock but there we go so you can do multiple things with here i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want more tips and tricks just go ahead and leave something in the comment and let your boy low know that hey um i'm having trouble with this or could you uh do a tutorial on this or that if i didn't cover anything make sure you guys hit me in the comment section like and subscribe it's your boy lock 